before we get started, let's talk about what you need for this project. Well, one of the main things that you need is going to be the wire or the cables. These are 6 gauge, 6x3. That means that you get two hot, one neutral, and also one ground watt cable. They're pretty thick. You also will need a J-Box. What they do is they keep any connection inside the box in case there's a spark, then at least there is your house will not get burned down. Okay, so J-Box, you need this. You need a 50 amp breaker because this is just a Tesla mobile charger. I really technically don't need 50 amp, but they did recommend 50 amp and I figure I might have some buffer in case in the future I get a Model Y and then the mobile charger goes up to 50 amp. At least it's proof. You also need the outlet. This is a NEMA 14 by 14 50 outlet. It looks exact. It looks like this. Base plate to make it all look nice. So it's gonna go like this. There you go. You also we need some bushing. So these bushing will kind of help keep the. You're gonna put this into those knockout holes and it's gonna keep your cable in place in case it moves around and it can cut with it can, it, it can get cut in these sharp edges. So the bushings are really important. Uh, so make sure you get those. So I had made a cut from my past work that are situated right behind the breaker panel and that's where I'm gonna go in to kind of loop a wire to my breaker panel. Okay, so that's from the inside. Okay, the breaker panel is all in the back right here now you're gonna see that this is the breaker panel so if you can access your breaker panel that's awesome some of your breaker panel has uh, breakers that are facing inside your garage that's even better but anyways mine's facing outside so what I have to do here is I have to run my cable down here and then I was able to find a knockout like one of these right here but I found one which is like right over here like right here that I'm gonna loop my cable up and then connect it to the breaker line and then make my other connection right here. So my first task is to push the bushing clamps in here. So notice that there is that, see that inside there, there's a, there's a hole right there. I have to push the push, put the bushing clamp in and then that's why I'm gonna loop my wire through and then finally going all the way up here. Okay. Troublemaker! Huh? Alright, so I have successfully run this cable. It is coming from that right there. As you can see. And now, before we get anything started, we're going to make the main connection out here. We're now going to run this 6 gauge up to the main breaker panel. We're going to make a connection. We're going to make a connection first. You got your neutral, your ground bus. And then finally the two pole and the 50 amps gonna go in there. Okay, so the um, the ground, uh, I'm sorry, the neutral wire is the white wire and it goes into your neutral bus and then we're going to go ahead and ground the, install the ground wire and then we'll follow that by the 250 amp breaker. <laughs> 